Welcome back. I'm joined today by three experts to discuss the issues of the day that are of interest to me. My first guest is the editor-in-chief of Maxim Magazine. Please welcome Reese Bronco. What's up, man? Good to see you. Good to uh, have how's you. How's the libido? That's fine. It's normal. Good? Yeah. Now let's get it up there. Let's well, pump it up. Don't... Hey, I noticed you uh, accidentally unsubscribed to Maxim, so I wanted to make sure, sure you got the oh, latest copy. The Hot 100. The yeah, that's right. The Hot 100 on Maxim. Babes, man. And that's, so it's 100 ladies in there? <laughs> yeah. Is that the whole magazine? Hot. Just 100 women in there? Just... Yeah, there's a couple jokes and zingers Articles? and stuff like that. No. No articles. We don't encourage reading. Okay. My next guest is a former kidnapping victim and the author of the book, Finding Positivity in Captivity. Please welcome Karen W. Hi. How are Hi. you? Hi. Hello. Should I, do you want me to sit you, on your lap? No, 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 you don't have to sit on my lap. Oh. You can, shaking my hand is oh. fine. That's Hi. fine. Nice Hello. to sit on my lap. Hi. Uh, give me an example of, of finding positivity in captivity. Sure, sure. Uh, well, I just feel like in a lot of ways I really found myself uh, with going through something like that. I really got to know what I'm capable of and I'm an independent woman and I'm strong. I know like how to survive um, like with no food or water for a long period of time. Oh. Just things that I feel like every woman really needs to go through in her yeah. life to okay. like figure out like what she wants like in a soulmate, you know? Uh-huh. And my last guest has been in the news all week with Major League Baseball's latest scandal. Please welcome a syringe full of performance-enhancing drugs. Hey, Hello. Brian, what's happening? Uh, no, not much. We're just doing a little show here. What, what's your name? Is it Mr. Syringe? Mr. Syringe, uh, please. Mr. Syringe is my father. You can call me Tony. Listen, can I jump up on your arm there? I'd take a little, take a little squirt. You know what? I don't need any uh, performance-enhancing drugs. Sleep not... two hours a night. You can see sound. I can see sound and sleep two hours a night. Yeah. You I also mean, you can wrap your arms all the way around your body and fold your hands in front of your body again. Totally tempting, but you know I'm afraid of the side effects that might come with you. Uh, you and everybody else. Bummer, there you man. go. Uh, let's talk about uh, DNA. That's in the news this week. The Supreme Court uh, ruled five to four that the police can uh, take a DNA sample from you without a conviction. All they have to do is arrest you, and they can take your DNA just like a fingerprint and put it in a database forever. Uh, Reese, w what do you feel about that, your DNA being taken by the police? Well, I'm kind of angry that the Supreme Court uh, stole my idea for our next photo shoot at Maxim. That's, what I'm, uh, that's where I'm coming from. Ta taking DNA from people. Yeah, that's a photo shoot. That'd be a cover right there on Maxim. And, and what would the, the taking, well, how would you depict well, you the You get a couple ladies, DNA? maybe bikinis, and, uh -huh. and you got another lady cop. You know, throwing them up against a wall. You got to swab in there. So, swabbing know. them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Get like Mila Kunis. She's Mila. like, oh, I didn't have drugs on me. And, and she's the, getting swabbed in the cheek. Getting swabbed by, you know, not Lady Gaga, but somebody hot. So you have a sexy angle on this whole deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's good for, it's good for Maxim. When okay. it's good for Maxim, it's good for men. Is it? Yes. You sure? I'm just asking. Yeah, Brian. For a friend. Uh, Karen. Yes. What do you, by the way, Karen W., what is the W? Right. Uh, w is the first letter I think of my last you name. You think of your, so you don't know your last name. Right, yeah, oh. I don't remember my last name. You don't remember your last name. For how, how long has that been? 17 years. No kidding. Yeah. So you don't, you don't know, so you escaped? Uh, I did, You kept. Yeah. I, I escaped. How? And, uh, oh, uh, well, <laughs> I uh, crawled my way out of, a, out of my own grave because uh, I was alive. Wow. And uh, I ended up, I was uh, near a highway. So I ended up, I was actually finally able to run. I ran for about uh, six hours six until hours. I finally saw um, another person. Okay. Um, and then everything happened from there. Well, uh, Can I just say, sure. you know, the, the bright side of the story is that women really don't need their last names. Why is that? Yeah. Guys, guys have them. Yeah, that's Guys have, so she can just yeah, slap true. on somebody else's last name. Yeah, it's called marriage, Brian. Sure. sure. Okay. Although, yeah. you know, some people don't, you know, some people don't take on the name of the male. Who? Uh, there are plenty of people. I know, I know people who. who I don't. You don't? They're not Consider your, them people, really. Not people. Yeah. Hmm. This isn't France. I look forward to getting a new last name at some point. Do you? Yeah, I think that'll be a real nice. Uh, Meet a guy, fall in love, get married. Sure. Yeah. Meet a guy, get taken away in a car. Be, be forced. Okay, that's not. Married. No, 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 no. That's not marriage. Is yeah. that what you think marriage is? Oh well, yeah. No, no. So I feel like that's what I want to have one day. I don't think of. you. I think you already had that, and I think you probably oh. don't want to have that. Okay, Come sure. On, bro. Let, let me ask you this: uh, this DNA thing. What? Do you, right. You think it's it's okay for the police to take your DNA even though you haven't oh. been convicted of a crime? Oh yeah. Yes. I think so. Oh. I do. I think so. Um, I think that maybe having some DNA maybe would have helped 
find uh, my my abductor maybe sooner. So they He's never, still not found. They didn't so, find your abductor. No, and I have a, a ton of his DNA no to kidding. give them. Can I have some? Please have some water. Yeah, I don't want to deprive you of I water. I can have this water. Absolutely, you, you may have the water. What yeah. do I have to do? Nothing. You can just drink it. Yeah, throw it on yourself. No, nope, right? you can just. You, she can just drink it. Yeah, toss a no, little. No, like, you look what you're doing. You're setting up a great photo shoot. No, that I'm this up. is she's delicate. I can drink this. You may. Uh, syringe, what do you think? Or Tony, I'm sorry. Is it Tony the syringe? Yeah, yeah Tony the syringe. I'm angry. I'm angry. Can't you tell from my body? Oh, yeah. Arr, yeah. Arr, man, oh. it makes me so mad. Here's the thing. These cheek swabs, that's the part that makes me angry. Uh -huh. I'm a, I was made in Bentonville, Arkansas. I'm All-American. I had a job. I had a whole plan. I was going to be injected into a baseball player. Okay. The evidence in a trial. Escape from the evidence locker. And then get reused to take somebody's DNA in an honest-to-God, good old American blood test. Uh -huh. Now it turns out you got these foreign cheek swabs coming in, mm -hmm. in in every policeman's pocket, and they're getting the jobs. And where am I, man? I'm on the talk show circuit trying to grind out like a public speaking thing, man. So f foreign foreign cotton swabs are taking your livelihood? Is yeah, that they are, man. You don't, you don't, they all look the same. They're all just like these anonymous, like faceless things, man. It's terrible. So you're against this ruling for, for different reasons than it's other people. Bad for this jobs. Is, bad okay. for jobs. For you, I would love job. to get up in somebody's arm and take their DNA, man. I'd be great at that. Let me ask you this, Reese. Uh, yeah. This ruling, the, it was 5 4. The minority ruling is very unusual because you had Scalia, a very conservative member of the court, with the three women uh, Ginsburg, um, uh, Sotomayor, There's women and Kagan. judges. Huh? There's women judges. There are not on the real, Supreme Court. Not, not really. Of course, there are three members of the Supreme Court who are, who are women. It's hot. It's, well, have you seen them? Yeah. They're allowed to think so. say things. They're allowed to say, they ruled. I mean, they, they, they were in the minority opinion on this particular issue, but yes. And they're women. Three of them, yeah. And Kagan, they're allowed to, like, talk, like, they, do they have to have permission before they talk or, like, no. open their eyes? They're Supreme Court judges. I mean, that's like the highest. two-piece robes. They don't have two-piece robes. Have you have you familiar with the Supreme Court? Have you seen these these, these robes that they wear? They're like uh, I've Ginsburg, I'm familiar Sotomayor, with them. Kagan. Kind of like a belly top. No, you don't. You don't want to see any Supreme Court judge in a belly top, male or female. You don't. I can't believe uh, there's female judges. Just seems. All right. Really I like uh, that Roberts. He's a beanpole like me. Okay, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. So. You're doing a really good job. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I have to go. Uh, we're almost out of time, but I wanted to ask you guys, uh, prior to last week's episode of Game of Thrones, what did the words red wedding mean to you? Uh, syringe? Uh, well, you, I'm hoping to have a red wedding. Syringes get married in, uh, in Red Cross blood banks, and uh, yeah, hopefully in the spring I'll marry my fiance. She's a, a baby thermometer. Oh, congratulations. Uh, what about you, Reese? Red wedding, uh, well, that's simple. That's uh, short for code red. Code red. Wedding. Oh, you're anti-married. Don't anti want to get married. Yeah. To get married. Red See a bro getting ready to get married. Code red. Gotcha. We got to save him. We gotcha. go in there, get him out of there. Gotcha, Karen. Uh, red wedding means to me blood and marriage. Okay. So a wedding with lots of blood. Oh, that's kind of. Which sad. I've had a few of. You've had a few. Yeah. To the same person. Correct. Your captor, I'm presuming. This is true. You've yes. had a red wedding many times. Yes. That involved blood. Right. Well, most weddings do. No. Is what I'm told. No, no. So, um, I mean, it was fake blood, seems... but it was fake blood. It was what? It was a red wedding with fake blood. Hot... What did you say? I said it was fake blood. Nothing. But I just, I just feel like I just have heard your voice before. Oh, uh, no, you haven't. Can you say, Karen, come here? Karen, come here. That sounds like you're putting on a fake voice. Can you say it again? No, in that's real the voice? way I've been talking the whole time. No, you haven't. Say it in your real voice. Karen, come here. Nope, that's not how you talk. Karen, come here. That's, that's, that's how I that's talk. It. That is, I, I, know, I know you. I know you. Yes, I know you from 17 we years. We do not know each other. This is really awkward. We all do right. That's all the time we have for this week's Where BS of A. Been? Like us on Facebook, love us on Twitter, watch our clips on YouTube, and join us next week Famous. for a brand new episode. I'm your host, Brian Sack, and if you hear clicking on your Verizon phone, you haven't lost your connection. That's just your civil liberties being tested. Good night, America. Uh, would you like an escort outside of the building? No, well, I... Babe, I'm sorry. Okay? I don't, I'm sorry I, I, I don't you understand. Go. Like, I ran away, and I thought you were going to run after me. You're getting too big for the goat cage. Flop, toss, top, allop, polyp, trop, allop, top, allop, polyp, trop, allop, polyp.